Your time is up. Tell me about this AI stuff. Like what's happening? Because to be honest, I'm just over. <laughs> I'm over this AI race, but go, go on. Like so what's happening? Google mm. has debuted their new AI. Uh, uh, Gemini, right? Model called Gemini. Mm. Yes. Mm. And I mean, the demo looks sick, right? Like mm. it, was, it was about, you know, it's a live video and like, you know, there's, it's a camera there. It's showing obviously like, you know, like a table mm. and like some, you know, the person's drawing something and giving voice commands to. Yeah. Voice commands, I mean, talk, talking conversationally with them. Yeah, yeah. Guy, right. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it, it's solving all these things that ChatGPT4 would solve with text prompts mm. on the fly. Yeah. And to me, that looked amazing in that because it's very similar to what we see in that movie, Her by mm. Joaquin Phoenix. Right? I haven't even watched that. All movie. it needed yeah. was Scarlett Johansson to start talking to him, uh, to, <laughs> to the Google person. Yeah. And I would have been convinced that we're at that age. But. Mm. Something's happened overnight who just changed what do you all mean? of this. What's up? So apparently it's fake. <laughs> what do you mean apparently it's fake? What's meaning, fake? Meaning that like Google Sorry, has, Gemini doesn't exist? No, it, it does exist. Yeah. And it's it, like, but Google put a disclaimer saying that they have cut the video to make it more digestible to view. What, what does that mean? So I'm not sure what so that means. Wrong? There, there's been, a, there's been a lot of articles online now from a lot of tech journalists saying that calling Google out saying, why did you like, why did you say that? Like we were sold on the idea that this is something that was like, you know, very instant, very like, you know, conversational. Apparently it's not. And this is like causing a big storm up on the internet Mm. because everyone's like, well, then why did you just show it like it was? And Google hasn't responded. (laughs) Left us on red. Look, I saw the, um, I saw the, the the video. It's impressive, right? If it's yeah, yeah. So so I think the main, yeah, the main thing that that screams out for Gemini. Look, w- where I'm just getting like over this chat is like, I know that like in a month's time, we probably um, will get to that. You know what I mean? Like Chat GPT or Open AI, GPT four, GPT five. Where what the hell number is going to be better than you know? We're going to go yeah, back yeah. and forth on that, yeah. right? But to the, to that point, but to me, this was a leap because of. How conversation, how easy. Yeah, it so was, the, right? the main thing is these models, right? Which yeah. is text, audio, code, being able to interact, yeah. like how you would. But it, the, the fact being, that right? it was doing it on the fly, yeah, was insane to me. Yeah, because it, it, like the person was drawing like an outline of like a duck. Yeah, and then and then and then literally the guy asked, "What is this?" Yep, and I was like, "Oh, that's a duck." And go, okay, and then like and then he colored it. It's like, oh, well, yeah, ducks. And when you it colored it blue, the guy, and then, and then the AI was like, well, ducks usually aren't blue. Mm. Except for like a dark color of blue on this. I'm like, that's insane. Like, it's like the person's talking. The yeah, AI is yeah, talking yeah. to you. Um, and it was amazing. But now there's this cloud over it. Like, what, like whether it was genuine or not from Google. And this is the thing with Google. Like, Google starts a lot of projects but never finishes it. And yeah. they have a history of doing that. They've done that a lot. I'm just wondering with this Gemini thing, oh, now that. that they've sort of been called out on it, whether they'll just scrap it all together. Because they have Bard as well, right? I don't know what that. I don't know how this Bard is, to, but uh, the the integration is this because they're supposed to have w- three versions of this, which is Gemini yeah. Ultra, yeah. which is meant to be for complex tasks, yeah. Gemini Pro, broad range, Gemini Nano. So it, it, I think Bard integrates one of them. I don't know if it's yeah. it's not the top version of it. Think of these names, man. Ultra Pro. These are like mobile phones. Like you, <laughs> you name the naming convention. Like, well, here's the thing, right? Yeah. What that movie showed us, her, mm. was that. This is going to sort of become like a mobile phone. It's going AI is going to be something like that you download to you, a blank phone. It'll be like an OS and it literally talks to you. That's the future that they showed. Mm. I reckon that's probably what we're heading towards, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that all these little all these things, this hardware, they're going to be blank canvases. Mm. And what's going to happen is you can download like an AI into it. Oh yeah. yeah and yeah. that will be your OS. It'll talk to you or show you things and stuff like that. And that will be what it is and it's like you're downloading like literally the movie shows downloading a friend yeah the company's description on youtube includes a short line that says for purposes of this video latency has been reduced in yeah. gemini output outputs have been shortened for brevity i mean see that's the thing the latency was the impressive bit of that was right? it though it was the fact that it's real time getting all this information and giving you stuff back to like conversationally mm. to me that's the leap i mean otherwise otherwise it's just like chat gpt5 then it's like the next thing that. But but we know that like this was always going to be launched in like what 2025 or something like next year, right? Like yeah, it's yeah. not a, it's not a now yeah, thing. Yeah. It's a development thing. Yeah. To me, it's like. But here's the thing, right? Yeah. Google's shown. Remember in 2018 when they showed that 
assistant that took your call and uh, scheduled an appointment with you. Where's that? That never ended up being it. Yeah. This, this is the thing with Google. They start a lot of things, they never finish them. And it's just frustrating because that assistant thing sounded cool, doesn't it? So mm. When you don't answer your phone and you got like an AI assistant basically telling you, oh, okay, now I'll schedule this for you. And How many days ago did Google announce this? What day? This was... I mean, you'd be able to see... Three days ago, I think. Three days? Yeah, so three days three would days. be seventh. Yeah, I think around there. It's coincided with a stock price bump in a little bit. It went up? Yeah. Yeah. Man. But, but that's hey, what I like... I'm telling you, bro. <laughs> but, but that's what I mean. It's like... I, th- I think... The re- like, don't get me wrong. I, I, I feel like a version version of this exists with open AI and stuff like that. Like with all that stuff going around Not on there. this level. How but, would you, how would you, how would we know, know that? Open AI and chat GPT, yeah, yeah, they're yeah. based on just like me entering something yeah, or yeah, uploading yeah. something and they're giving me something back. Yeah, yeah. It's not based on me just randomly like, you know, live video, here you go, yeah, yeah. analyze this. Uh, you know, it's not, it's not doing that. Yeah, that yeah. to me is the the interesting part of this. Yeah, but look, it's going to be, I mean, how much more complex can we go now? Because like we've, we've discussed this, the ability for, Google definitely has a leg up in that it just has all the infrastructure, right? Yeah. It has G, yeah. like Gmail, Google search. And um, to me, to me, it's the Gmail, Google search, but it's also the phones as well. Like the phones, but the, the, what's going to be the most important bit of this is going to be those server farms that mm. Google has, right? All the servers around the world. Yeah. If you were to implement this properly, yeah, um, you would need to get yourself the most reliable ones, and they are the Google and Amazon ones, right? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is gonna take like a lot, like uh, this sort of stuff takes a lot of computing power, right? Yeah. Well, and the fact that Google has its own, uh, like they're already priming the names. It's like they're, they're they're the they're probably the the company that's that, that's most ready for that and Microsoft, ready yeah, for this AI stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we'll see, man. But like, honestly, like. Google this, Gemini that. We're going to be talking about this in January. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 